What's up, Libra? Let's get a quick message for my Libras out there. Libra, how you feeling, baby? How you feeling, Libra? My empresses, my kings and queens, my gods and goddesses out there. Thank you for tapping into this message, Libra. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Libra placements. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for another Libra out there. Cross watches are welcome. Flipping bounce the rules as you see fit to your personal situation. Libra, right? Right on out, Libra. Money opportunity. Y'all saw how quick that shit fell out? <laughs> okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, Libra, so you got some money coming towards you. You have an opportunity to make money, okay? You got money opportunity. First card out, Libra. All right, Spirit, what you want to tell Libra? What's going on with my Libra? Give me some messages for Libra, Spirit. What's going on with Libra? Anything else that I need to pull from this deck for Libra? Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, Libra. Come on, spirit. Well, a fortune. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, Libra. Shit, Libra. You got fucking money opportunity and you got the will of fortune, Libra. Come on now. I think y'all know what this means, Libra. Okay. Everything's turning around and working out in your favor, Libra. The will is turning in your favor. There's some money coming towards you, okay? Oh, Libra, this is nice. We have Aries energy here. Some of you can have strong Aries in your chart. Or you could be dealing with someone that does. But I'm seeing divine timing at play in your life, okay? So, Libra, let me just tell you right now. I don't care what you're doing right now. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Do you understand me, Libra? If you are feeling unsure about what it is that you are doing or where you are currently at in life, understand that everything is a stepping stone, okay? It's just a cycle. Nothing lasts forever. I feel like some of my Libras need to hear that. But baby, you are exactly where you should be. You are exactly where you should be at this time. The will is turning in your favor. I'm getting that whoever I am picking up on, Libra, you are in perfect alignment with the universe. A lot of you may be seeing different angel numbers, different signs and synchronicities that's letting you know that you are connected to everything, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, you have a deep understanding that everything is connected in this realm, okay? As above, so below, okay? You know that everything is connected and you are connected to all, okay? You are connected to all. You understand what I'm saying? You in perfect alignment, Libra. I feel like you are someone that's passionate. You have a lot of drive here. And the way others view you is none of your business. Yeah, don't worry about how people looking at you. Fuck them. Who cares? Okay, but you are like fiery. Like I said, some of you can have Aries in your chart, but either way, you're taking on this energy of someone that's taking charge. You're taking charge of your life. You're taking a leap of faith. you believing in yourself. You're walking out on faith. You're stepping out on faith. Okay, you investing in yourself. And I feel like you're not really concerned with anyone's opinions of you. Because we have the card of the way others view you is none of your business. So I just feel like you don't really even care how others is viewing you right now. Okay? You know that you walking in your purpose. You walking in your truth. Okay? You a star, Libra. You're a star. You are a star. Somebody that's unhealed could be looking at you a certain way or judging what you do. For some of you, this person may be a Taurus, doesn't have to be, but whoever this is, this person's unstable. It doesn't really matter how they view you. They need to get their shit together, whoever this is. But you are showing up as someone that is healed. You are a star here. Strong Aquarius energy here. You are a star. You have star qualities, star energy. You are beautiful. Somebody here that's unhappy with themselves, unhappy in their body, unhappy in their home. Somebody that's feeling very... Um, it's like this person, yeah, somebody here is jealous of you, Libra. It's a Leo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus, or a Cancer, okay, or a Virgo. Could be all of these people. You got strong Virgo, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, and Taurus. These motherfuckers is hating on you. Who cares? But they came out. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about none of these people. 
Libra, and you shouldn't care about none of these people either. This Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Taurus, they can all go to hell. They can all kiss your ass. You too powerful. You too strong. You too wise. You're a fucking star. You too protected is what I'm hearing as well. So if anybody was trying to fuck with you at any point, they're now learning a major lesson. They're learning a hard lesson that you're not to be fucked with. You're not to be played with because you're a chosen one. And that's just that on that. Libra, you're a chosen one. You're a chosen one. You are a chosen one. Money, opportunity, will of fortune. The star. Strength, Aries. The way others view you is none of your business, period. And I'm telling you, this Virgo, this Cancer, this Capricorn, this Leo, this Taurus, y'all could all kick fucking rocks with y'all hating asses. Could be a Gemini too, that's mad. Bitch, go somewhere, Okay. Go somewhere. Go wash your ass, okay? Because your, your shit is a little stank. It's a little funky. Somebody here don't know how to wash their ass properly. Or somebody here just got a funny odor here. Somebody here got, like, bad B.O. Somebody here could even have B.V. Like, somebody here is a little fishy downstairs. Bitch, what you need to be doing is trying to get your pH balance in order instead of watching Libra. Because your shit is fishy as fuck. <laughs> For real. Okay, Libra, you got somebody coming towards you as the Knight of Cups. All right, so somebody coming towards you, Libra, they don't want nobody but you. Seven of Cups in the reverse, they spinning the block. So this is not somebody new, okay, Libra? This is somebody that y'all already met. This is somebody that y'all has some kind of past history with that's coming back around. This person could have been comparing you to others, but now they realize that they don't want nobody but you, okay? Yeah, this person definitely had a third party. They definitely had a third party here, Libra, for sure. But now the wheel is turning. Libra, you got the wheel of fortune in both decks. We have the wheel of fortune here and we have the wheel of fortune here. The wheel is turning in your favor, Libra. When I tell you that everything is working out for you the way that it should, and we have Aries energy here again with the full card. I mean, you really taking action. You taking charge of your life, Libra. Okay, can't nobody stop you. Can't nobody block you. Can't nobody hold you down okay like you are just you are on a thousand right now libra i mean some of y'all may even be feeling that energy like yo i'm unstoppable like i'm i'm just going for it whatever i want i'm gonna do it whatever you put your mind to you can do it libra it's like whatever i want i'm gonna just go for it i'm gonna just do it fuck it let's do it that's the energy you in fuck it let's do it let's just try let's just see you know you're not overthinking you're not um acting out of a place of like fear like you're not you're not fearful this is somebody that's fearless the fool is the fool speaks of someone that's fearless libra i'm getting at you in this very fearless energy it's like let's do it fuck it let's do it it's like childlike energy it's like you're mature and you're wise but you also like your inner child is coming out to play in a very good way it's like the the possibilities are endless fuck it let's do it you know when you ask children what they want to be when they grow up and they have all these different cool things that they say because they just feel like they could be whatever they want libra that's the energy that you in i could do whatever i want i could be whoever i want i could keep reinventing myself the possibilities are endless whatever i want i could do it whatever whatever wants me want whatever i want wants me back if I want it, it's already mine. Libra, that's your attitude. That's your energy. And I love it. Okay? That's why you got the Wheel of Fortune here. Because you're such a positive person. I'm getting here that you are somebody that just speaks positive affirmations without even trying. It's like you're just a very optimistic person. Libra, your energy is just very optimistic. You're very optimistic. You're very loving. You're vibing high. You happy, but there's a third party situation here for sure. Okay, we're gonna talk about this because this is here. There's a knight of cups in your energy, Libra, but this person has a third party. They put you in a third party situation here. There's some delays. This person is viewing you as someone that's absolutely stunning. Libra, you are absolutely beautiful. Here we go with this fire energy again. So some of my Libras out there that's connecting with this energy, you guys have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, but you are very uh, sexy. You are very beautiful. You are like a manifester. The Queen of Wands is also like somebody that's very witchy. So some of you, you know, you be on that shit. You very spiritual. You tapped in. You gifted. Okay. 
you a queen and you're beautiful and somebody here knows that about you they see that somebody here sees how abundant you are too you know libra you have the card of money opportunity and you got the will of fortune twice and then you got the ten of pentacles i think it's safe to say libra that you are money okay money is an energy and damage your energy matches it your energy is so clean it's so like pure it's so high vibrational that it's like you have no problem attracting abundance you have no problem attracting money into your life because that's just the that's how high you're vibing you know people don't understand that the that the energy that you are in really creates your financial situation libra your finances is on point because baby you are vibrating so fucking high you're a boss the hierophant you are a boss. You are a leader. Some of you could be getting um, a leadership role here that's going to help you with your finances as well. Some of you are getting a pay raise. Okay. You could get an increase in your salary. You could be moving forward. You could be moving up into a position of power here, a leadership role. But even if you're not in a leadership role at this current moment in time, you are seen as such. People are looking at you and they have a lot of respect for you. Libra, people respect you. You got some fucking haters here that came up, but who cares about them? People really respect you. Your haters respect you too because they hate in silence. They hate in secret. They would never say that shit to your face. You command respect. You demand respect. I'm getting here that your presence is somebody that demands respect. You are very loving, but you are also somebody that is clearly not to be fucked with. People know how loving you are, how kind you are, but they also know never take your kindness for weakness because Libra ain't to be fucked with. People really respect you, Libra. And somebody here respects you and they love you. Somebody here is in love with you, Libra, King of Cups. Somebody here has deep feelings for you and they want to express that. The King of Cups, the Knight of Cups energy is somebody that wants to come towards you and express their feelings for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, Libra, as well. Somebody here wants to give you an offer here, Libra. This person wants to express their desire, express their love for you, and give you some sort of offer here. Oh, shit, Libra, who this? Okay, is this somebody that y'all want? Some of y'all side-eyeing this person. <laughs> this page of wands in this deck always cracks me up. Y'all know every time I get this card, I got to show y'all. Because the face is just hilarious. But Libra, some of y'all side eye in this person. Okay, with the four swords in the reverse, I feel like you're kind of like annoyed a little bit. Because you just feel like now this person is coming around out of nowhere. And it's like, when I was thinking about you, you was nowhere to be found. Now that I'm not even really thinking about you too much. Now you want to come and express your love. But we got the two of cups here. You see, Libra, this is this person's intent this is their end goal right they want to equal give and take partnership with you clarify this two of cups this person want to be with you but i'm telling you it's the third party that they feel like is in their way and that's why we got the five of wands here too so there's this conflict there's tension here between them and a the third party they feel like there's some unfinished business between you and them libra this person breadcrumbed you in the past at some point because of a third party i feel like you healed from this betrayal this person is still expecting you to wait on them though they saying that they want you to wait on them until they get out of a situation this person has children with someone, they're married to someone, share a home with someone, or just in a long-term relationship with someone that they are miserable with. We got the four, oh, I'm hearing that I am miserable. Libra, somebody here is miserable. Like their whole personality and attitude has completely changed in being with this person. This person is miserable. It's like somebody here cannot fake their happiness anymore is what I'm hearing. So this person was faking their happiness with a third party. But with the Ten of Cups reverse here and the Four of Wands reverse here, Libra, this person is trying to say, can you wait on me? Okay, Three of Wands is somebody that's waiting. Libra, this person wants you to wait on them until they separate or divorce somebody or get out of a living situation or just like really get their shit together here. This person is watching you. They're watching you and they're crying and shit. Okay, or they're just watching you and they're in a lot of regret. The Five of Cups is somebody that's crying, but that's also somebody that's in deep regret. That's somebody that's in a lot of regret. That's somebody here that feel like they just fucked up, they blew it. You know, this Emperor in the reverse really feel like they fucked up, like they blew it when it comes to you, Libra. This person could be an Aries for some of y'all. 
Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. That's the truth, Libra, everything that I'm saying. Somebody here could have been trying to be petty and, you know, even like compete with you or go against you in some way. They ain't doing that shit no more. Libra, somebody here feel like you won. And I feel like it was never a game to you. It was never competition to you. You was never competing with this person. This person is weird. They're weird to even be thinking that way. That's the type of t that's the type of shit they was on. This person has a big ass fucking ego. That's why they're showing up as the emperor in the reverse. This person has a big ass ego. And that's the type of time they was on. But Libra, I feel like you wasn't on that type of time. The only thing you was focused on was healing from this betrayal. This person betrayed you with the Ten of Swords energy, but I see that you healed and you transformed and now you winning and now this person is in a lot of regret. It's as simple as that. They feel like they should have never moved this way with you. The way they moved was definitely a mistake. That's what they're saying. It, it was a mistake. It was childish. They shouldn't have done it. This person is like, damn, you know, this person is really feeling bad. But they, they are in the Emperor Reverse energy, Libra. So if this person doesn't actually heal and raise their vibration, then they just going to have to stay where they at. Yeah, Libra, because you healed so much. That's what you was doing. While they was competing and trying to get a rise out of you, get your attention and trying to irritate you and create war with you, you was too busy healing the star card, okay? You was too busy fucking healing. Some of y'all are very intuitive. You a damn high priestess. I'm getting a high priestess in the temperance card. Libra, you don't be on no... Your ego is not big like this person's. You just be chilling. You are showing up as somebody that's an earth angel. We have the hierophant, the high priestess, the star, and the temperance card. That's an earth angel. That's somebody that's in a, that's somebody that's angelic. That's somebody that's gifted, intuitive. That's somebody that's patient, kind. This is somebody whose chakras is balanced. Like you're fully balanced. Your sacral chakra, every your sacral chakra and everything else is on point. I'm getting here that you are clean. You you are pure. Your aura is is beautiful. Everything is just angelic. Some of y'all got a lot of blue, purple in your aura. Like if you was to actually go, I, I went and got an aura photo before too. But Libra, if you was actually, um, if you actually went and, and, and got an aura photo taken, you would see that you have like a lot of blue, a lot of pink, purple surrounding you. You are you are full of love. This person knows that, and now they want to give to you, King of Pentacles. Okay, this person fucked up here. They know they fucked up too. Whoever this is, they know they fucked up with this Five of Cups energy. Now they want to give to you King of Pentacles here. But with the Six of Wands in the reverse here, Libra, they feel like you're making it hard for them because they feel like you're not paying them any mind. This person feel like you're not paying them any mind here. They want to travel and come towards you. For some of you, you may even live at a distance from this person. They want to hit you up. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. They want to come and travel and be with you. But they with a karmic woman right now. The Empress in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. They could be with somebody that's money hungry. Somebody that could be using them for their finances. They could be with somebody that is trying to get pregnant here. Or they could be already an ex unexpected, unwanted pregnancy here. They could be with somebody's baby mama here. Okay. But with the Empress in the reverse here, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, they with somebody that ain't shit. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse is somebody that ain't shit. Like that, put, they saying that they are with like a low budget version of you. But shit, I wouldn't even call it that. But that's what they saying. The Empress of reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse is, is a damn, that's somebody that you want to avoid at all costs. This person could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But whoever they dealing with, this person did spell work on them. This is like a succubus, incubus energy. This is like a Jezebel spirit. This is somebody that was using sex magic, candle magic, mirror magic, all types of magic here. Paying people to do shit um, to them so that they could use them for their finances. And now they've actually drained this person to the point where this person is actually starting to have an awakening and put the pieces together and see the truth about a situation. And now that they're seeing the truth about this manipulation and this spell that they feel like they was under, now they want to come towards you. 
Libra, whoever this is, they know that you would have never did no shit like this to them because you're a healer. They feel like you can heal them from this. So after they chose to invest in this third party and this third party really gave them a run for their money, literally, okay? Now they want to come towards you because they feel like you can heal them and bring them back to life. Ain't that something? Boy, have the tables turned. Ain't that something? That's some book. That's some shit right there. Libra. Libra. Listen. That's the message for y'all. I love y'all. Okay. So much. All right. Libra, continue being the beautiful empress that you are. You are so blessed. Your life is going to just be amazing, Libra. I mean, I, I hope you ready. All your dreams are coming true, Libra. Anything you want, it wants you back. Peace.